Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome as BCAT Sports presents yet another exciting edition of Red Devil Football from Varsity Field in Burlington. It's the Burlington Red Devils versus the Belmont Marauders. Hello, everybody. I'm Dan Brothers, and Steve McGuire joins me. And you talk about emotion. Running off of last week, Burlington and Belmont, two teams headed in the same direction. Big last-second wins for both teams coming into this contest. On second down and nine, motion now. Here's the play action fake, back to pass. Here's Carley, he takes a big hit. He throws down the field, it's caught. And down to the one yard line goes number 17, touchdown. Oh, he's gonna call it a touchdown. Wow. Wide to the left right, wide right is Costello. Slot back, number 22, Kennedy right side. Here's Sinclair on the sweep to the right. Blockers out in front, steps in the See hole, ya. steps behind the runner and goes in the end zone for a touchdown. Wow. First down and goal from the two. Conley calling signals. Turns and gives to Sinclair. Blasts into the end zone for a touchdown. Wow. First down and goal from the eight. Red Devils break the huddle. Richardson to the left. Stebbins to the right. Again, they stay with the eye formation. D'Agostino, the blocking back in front of LeBlanc. Teddy McGowan, left side. First down. Here's the quick pitch to LeBlanc. Block is out in front. He's going for the corner of the end zone. Touchdown! Nice job. Just a great job. Quick pitch to the outside. Lots of credit to the Burlington lead blockers in the front. What they've been doing is they were pounding and pounding and pounding and pounding, and then they broke it to the outside. Nice job. Important touchdown for Burlington that time, Dan. Extremely important touchdown because that gets them back in the football game. We're going to take a look at this play again. And let's give a lot of credit here to Mark LeBlanc also. He just breaks it to the outside that time. Nice job, good touchdown. The Red Devils now cut the lead to 14. He read, his, he read off his lead blocker very well. His lead blocker took him to the inside, and Mark LeBlanc went to the outside. Nice Kevin job. Kevin out of the hold of Jay Capozzi. Ball down, kick is up, and it is blocked. As Paul. Three left in. Lots of time left in this one. LeBlanc comes out to the right. Wide left is uh, Richardson, slot left Stebbins. Single setback, Killian on first, down and 10. Back to pass, looking. Here's the throw to LeBlanc. LeBlanc oh, comes out to Killian. There he goes. Lateral. He there has he goes. some sideline room. There he goes. 50, 45, 40, 30, 25, 20, 15, 40. What a play. Touchdown. What a play. Whoa. What touchdown. a play, dude. It was the old hook and lateral. Hook and lateral. Bring back Tony Bacon. Bring back that We saw it again. What a great play. Unbelievable. What a great play. What a great play, play. Call. 85 Whoa. yard touchdown run. Woo. The lateral from the blank. Wow. The blank kept his knee off the ground. 85. It's back to within three points. Wow. 21 to what? 19. Hey, we're going to look at it on the replay. All LeBlanc does, he does a quick in. Now watch 88 for Belmont, right here, okay? LeBlanc catches it, 88 comes all the way up to hit him. Oh, he pitches the ball right to the outside. There's nobody out there. And five gonna die, but in desperation, John Killian just turns on the Jets and lumbers 85 yards for the touchdown. What a great play. Here's Fina now out of the hold of Capozzi. Snap, kick, ball is up. It is good. Wow. So now as the teams come back up field at Varsity Field, with nine minutes and 10 seconds left in the third, fourth quarter of play to score. The Belmont Marauders 21 and the Burlington Red Devils 19. Second down and goal from the three. 542 clock running. Wishbone again, wide right Richardson. Calling signals is Gordon. Turns, gives LeBlanc, left side, steps inside. He's touchdown! Touchdown! Unbelievable. And I'll tell you, that's just straight power football. That's what it you is, You and me, Dan. baby, I'm gonna blow you off the line of scrimmage. And they did it, and Burlington now has come back from being down 21 to nothing, Dan. And they've taken the lead 25-21. Here come, we're gonna take a look at it, the replay. Dan, straight powerhouse. And the give, just a power to LeBlanc. He runs, puts his head down, keeps his leg driving, and dives into the end zone. And Dan, this has certainly been a humdinger of a game. 5.30 mark of the fourth quarter. Sean McGuire is looking for Kevin Vina. No, Gordon's in the field. They're going to go for two points here. They have a four-point lead. They're trying to make it six. This has been a humdinger of a football game, Dan. Gordon's on the field. Has his instructions from Coach McGuire.
So they'll go for two. Single setback is LeBlanc. Here's the try for two. Back to Brass Gordon. Looking. Rolls to his right. Throwing across the edge. Oh, oh, there he is. Beautifully run play. What a great Sean ball. Sean McGowan for two. And the Red Devils have a 27 to 21 lead. Wow. I'll tell you, that's how a football team wakes up, comes back, and explodes. What a comeback by that football team on the field in the red and white, Dan. Down 21 points early in the second quarter, trailing 21 to 6 at halftime. They have absolutely exploded for 21 points here, and 21 unanswered points in the third quarter, and that's four unanswered touchdowns for Belmont. Belmont scored, and they've shut down. The big thing here is to stop the quarterback, Conley, for the Red Devils. You know, the amazing part about it, Steve, I go back to our second quarter telecast. We talked about how tired Belmont looked when Burlington went to the no huddle. Right now, Belmont is a very tired yep, football that's team. that's right, that's right. And they're not too happy. You know, they're still fighting amongst each other. I'll tell Conley you now, fourth down, fourth down and 10, they come back on the field. Number 88, Wright is in the game. Number 17, Costello is in the game. Fourth down and 10. Here's the ball game with 147 left. Costello to the right. Sinclair is split in the backfield. Set out here to the left. Conley calling signals. Straight back to pass. He's looking, looking. He's being chased outside. LeBlanc gets in, throwing to the corner of the end zone. Touchdown! What a catch. What a catch. 139, Dan. What a phenomenal catch. More timeouts for Burlington. Great catch by Costello. You talked about somebody being 6'5". You saw him at halftime. That's why he was 6'5 inches tall. What a ball by Conley, too. He just he, We're going to take a look at it on the replay here, Dan. And tons of pressure on Conley. He hangs in there. Good block there on the blank. And Conley just fires it downfield into the end zone. What a catch. What a fabulous catch. He just jumped and dove and caught it, and the Belmont side exploded. And now it's 27-27. Costello's on for the extra point out of Conley's hole. Plenty of time here, Dan. Plenty of time. 139 left. This is no good, Dan, I'll tell you. Ball is down. Kick is up. It is good. Plenty of time, baby. So as the teams come back up field, it reminds you, Kevin Beater's last point had plenty of leg on it, and he has the wind yeah. at his back. And I'll tell you something, for Belmont to be too excited right now, you're in the wrong place to be doing that. Belmont has not stopped Burlington in the whole second half. Nope. Belmont 28, Burlington 27, one minute, 39 seconds left. We've been in these situations before. Burlington, I think, has five timeouts. This is a Fourth huge Fourth down play and two. What do you do here? You know who's going to get the ball. So the Red Devils come back on the field. Let's see who they bring out. Gordon has him in the huddle on fourth, down and one. Wide to the right. Watch the draw here, Dan. Wide to the right, LeBlanc. Richardson and Stebbins as well. Here's a left ring side. Kelly Dieter takes down the middle of the people. First down for the Red Devils. Good decision. So on fourth down, great decision by Matty Gordon. On fourth down, Kevin Vina comes on to try it again. <laughs> the ball is at the six. It will be spotted. At the 14-yard line, a 24-yard attempt. The thing here, it's at the hash, Dan. That's the same hash he hit it from last week. Out of the hole to Kaposi, the snapper. The snapper will be Sean McGee. Wiener is on, 14 yards a spot, 24-yard field goal, ball snapped down, kick is up, and it is! It's, it's good! Good! 